Welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 25th of May for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you're new to my channel, I'd be honoured if you'd subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. You can also connect with me directly on Twitter at Horoscope Ace or subscribe for your free daily horoscope or my monthly astrology magazine by clicking the link beneath this video. Now we start this week with the Sun, Mercury and Venus along with the North Node, the societal direction of travel, all in the sign of Gemini. This is quick moving. This is about short, buzzy interactions. It's about our everyday chit chat. It's about technology. It's about text messages and emails. It's about our community. It can be about our siblings, but of course we have Venus in retrograde. And that's going to continue all this week. So that's just asking us to be a bit measured about how we connect to others. But the Sun is in a, a conflict with Mars in the first half of this week. And it suggests that somebody could blurt something out this week. It could be us, it could be somebody else. They may not intentionally mean to hurt. It may just mean that somehow or another something gets expressed in a direct, if clumsy, way. And some kind of tender subject or secretive issue could be revealed. But also this can create a degree of stress because Mars being in the sign of Pisces, not its best location, but actually it is forging a brilliant link with Uranus this week. So we can listen to our hunches with this Piscean energy, but also we can convert it into something practically positive because Mars is about action and Uranus is about innovation. Uranus is in the second solar house of resources. So perhaps an old memory, perhaps a hunch, Mars in Pisces can see us coming up with a smart idea that we can use our mental faculties on through all this Gemini energy in a positive way. And you know the Sun is also forging a, a super semi star to Uranus. So Uranus can be almost like a kingpin this week and really help to provide traction to the fast moving reaction that we have to our circumstances at the moment. What are the challenges? Well, Thursday sees Mercury move into the sign of Cancer. This is going to be an extended transition due to a retrograde. But what I would say to you is that this can just ask us to slow down a little bit, be a bit more conscious of the emotional dimension of our communication. But also there's a quarter moon on Saturday in the sign of Virgo. And because that's governed by Mercury as well, we get a kind of electric energy as this week draws to a close. So if we're thinking about doing some kind of do-it-yourself project, uh, talking to someone you haven't spoken to uh, in a while, the key as the week draws to a close is not to try too hard. We could get a little bit frazzled if we try to pack too much in. It's time to try to slow things down. If we don't and we get hyper, we could end up getting a little bit stressed out. Also, Jupiter and Pluto, of course, are both retrograde along with Venus and Saturn as well. And they are inching closer together in the sign of Capricorn. Of course, Jupiter's been there since December, but they're very, very close. And they're going to come into direct uh, conjunction from the 22nd of June. But I think this just means that anything to do with business, finance, uh, the stock market, all these areas are probably still going to be at a suboptimal level. We only can be honest about this. But what we can do with the bright, sparkling, effervescent energy of Gemini is use our mental faculties to the best to try to occupy ourselves, stimulate ourselves, teach ourselves, share our ideas, or come up with some cracking new ones. Your specific forecast, Leo, suggests this can be a big week for you, particularly in terms of your future plans. You may feel particularly passionate, even a bit intense, about how you want to steer one particular project, hope or aspiration. But if you push too fast, you want instant results, you could meet opposition. 
part of the reason for this is the role of Mars. Mars is in a very deep and passionate part of your scope, which is good, but its angle to the sun early on just really says, just try not to get too frustrated if things don't go quite as quick as you would like. Actually, Mars forges a brilliant angle to Uranus. And the more you're thinking outside the box, in terms of juggling your resources, thinking about property matters, or business, or employment, so in other words, being much more flexible and perhaps innovative in your approach, the more progress you can make. But what I would say, as Mercury moves into your 12th solar house, you could find yourself thinking a little bit more deeply about something of a sensitive nature or from your past. The quarter moon, however, does suggest there could be a little bit of a divergence between you and a friend that you have been involved with up until now, and perhaps you're beginning to see things a bit differently, and it may be your values or theirs which have started to change. Thanks so much for joining me. If you'd like to embrace real astrology and go beyond your zodiac sign, you can check out my astrology, personal astrology reports beneath this video. There's a great offer there if you get a year's forecast, a character analysis combined. Or if you'd like to have a one-to-one -one with me personally, please see the testimonials below. But for now, take care, stay safe and good luck.